Hello everybody, I'm Boaz Fala and I'm here with the Daily Astrology Forecast for February 8th, 2016. <clears throat> we have a new moon in the sky. As I tell you, every new moon is a very important time in the sense that we have to monitor the energies that we receive and send out and really try to be as positive, as benevolent, as brave, as kind and as hopeful as we can because in a sense those energies are imprinted in, uh, into us at that day and stay with us uh, for the next two and a half, three weeks. But when we have a new moon in Aquarius, it, I mean every new moon is a, a moon of new beginnings. But when we have a new moon in Aquarius, it's especially so. So, because the energy of Aquarius is about reaching out into the future and bringing innovation and progress and new ideas into the present. So, this is really a time to think outside the box, to uh, make those changes, to make those strides into your future and to leave some things behind, you know, to allow yourselves to be flexible enough to change. Many times we are the ones inhibiting change in our life. How many times have you heard yourself say, oh, I'm just this kind and that kind of person and I don't like X and Y. Never did. Or, you know what, every time I try to do that, this ends up happening. Or, I don't know why, but it's just, I, I guess that's my karma. Every time I try to do X, Y ends happening. You know, all these paradigms that we hold sacred, I don't know why, are keeping us in a rigid frame that sometimes does not allow development. Now imagine a four-year-old or a 16-year-old saying these kinds of sentences. Now the fact that we're a bit older and wiser doesn't mean that we've stopped changing. So allow yourselves to be flexible and go through new beginnings, take yourselves out of your comfort zones and change and develop and evolve. And we have a sextile to Uranus later on today that's really strengthening it. It's about being yourself. It's about taking your innovative side out, your genius out and standing out from the crowd. And that's great. The moon is void, of course, from about... 1600 hours Central European time, it's about 900 hours uh, Eastern Standard Time. So if you are living in the States, this is not a day for new beginnings. This is just the day that you should take care of the tactics and think about new beginnings, but start them when the moon is going into uh, Pisces later on or tomorrow. But if you are in Central Europe, once the moon is void, of course, just take, uh, start taking care of what's there already and don't begin anything new. Um, after it's void, of course, it still quincunxes Jupiter in the nodes, and that has an effect that could cause us to act irresponsibly with our energies and really grind them to zero. So I want you to really focus today and to keep some of these energetic reserves for the end of the day. Let's talk about other things in the sky a minute. There's still a square between Mars and the Sun. It's a time that we should be careful from accidents, from impulsivity, from just aggression around us or within us or any unconsidered actions and Venus is sextant in Chiron this is the time to give TLC to whomever is important in your life and your relationships just send your love and care uh, to people you care about going through uh, some hard times or just needing some attention and yourself of course don't take out yourself from that equation Thank you for listening. Have a great day. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.